And so what I'm making is like a little charcuterie board like girl dinner. Is girl dinner still trendy? I'm gonna take them out with my fingers. Do I recommend that? No, but I have long nails. <laughs> so I'm just kind of like grabbing them mostly with my nail. Wait, what? I can't tell if that face is like, I love it or it's weird. Hi, this is Katie, the air fryer's on. Can you hear that? I think maybe you can. But hi, in today's video, we are going to be making and eating dinner together. If you watched my last video and even the video before that, you would know that I'm working on adding some calm to my life. And so right now and tonight, actually it's not even dinner. I think I said it was dinner, it's 319. I haven't even eaten yet today. <laughs> And so I guess it's like technically breakfast because I'm breaking my fast, but by the time I eat, it'll be 3.30. So is that lunch? I don't know. But anyway, I'm just working on, you know, adding some calm to my life, being a little bit more in the moment when I can because I rush a lot. Even like, you know, when I'm doing something like making breakfast, lunch, dinner, I don't know what this meal is. Um, but even sometimes when I'm doing that, even when I have the time, not only do I still feel anxious and chaotic sometimes, I also feel like I'm rushing even when I don't need to. Sometimes, of course, you know, like we just need to rush sometimes. Maybe not need to, but sometimes it's more likely to. But there's a lot of times in my life where I'm doing something just like making dinner where I don't need to rush. I have the time, but internally I feel like I'm rushing and I want to work on not doing that. And uh, there's a lot of other times in my life where I'm working on, you know, adding calm and being more intentional, being more focused and letting God's love lead me instead of, you know, the last 30 something years where I've let chaos lead me and so I'm just making a lot of changes in my life mentally and physically like in my day-to-day -day life and so one of them is around eating and just wanting to have a little bit more calm there and so I just wanted to you know make dinner with you and we're just gonna hang out and go you know maybe a little bit slower it's really hard for me and I know this might sound silly to some people because some people might wish that they even had the time to go and make a slower dinner but for me sometimes I do have the time not always but sometimes I do but even when I have the time I still feel stressed and so that's just something I'm working on I know it might seem silly to some people but it's just something I'm working on and so just in this video I just want to you know be a little bit more intentional and stuff while I'm making my breakfast lunch, whatever it is. And also while I'm eating it. So I'm just going to chat with you a little bit while I do that as well. And so what I'm making is like a little charcuterie board, like girl dinner is girl dinner still trendy. <laughs> you guys might know, I almost never follow trends, especially like social media trends, sometimes fashion trends, maybe if I like them, but social media trends, I rarely follow, but I don't know if girl dinner is still popular. If it is, that's what we're doing girl dinner. Um, but in reality, it's just really like a snack board or like a charcuterie plate kind of thing. I'm making some chicken nuggets. These are the gluten-free Applegate chicken nuggets. I have these in the air fryer right now. There's just a couple minutes left. And then I'm going to just have a couple snacks on the side, basically. I think you can see some of them in the frame, but I am going to have some of this Ithaca classic hummus. I've never had this before. I don't think. I don't think I've had this before. So I'm gonna try this with you guys. And I'm just gonna have this with some tortilla chips. I really like the organic Tostitos, the blue corn one. And then I'm also going to have some olives. I have the Lindsay pimento stuffed uh, green olives. I don't love the pimento part, like the little red part, but sometimes I just take it out and I eat the rest of the green olive. Or maybe my taste buds have changed and maybe I like the inside part too now. But anyway, green olives. And then of course I have pickles. I have a brand new jar of cloths and pickles. These are my favorite, the kosher dill. These are the sandwich slice uh, shape, but all shapes are delicious. I love these. So I'm gonna have some of those. And then of course I'm gonna have a red pear. This is like one of my favorite foods right now. So I'm gonna have one of these. And then the last thing on this little charcuterie board is these Quinn cheddar cheesy filled pretzel nuggets. So I have a lot of food allergies, gluten, dairy, nuts, tomatoes, a bunch of things. But these are gluten-free, dairy-free, cheese-filled pretzels. And I already opened them. I just got them yesterday. This is my first time trying them. I just got them yesterday at Walmart. Here's the thing. I have two Walmarts near me. One of them has these, one doesn't. So I don't know if they're gonna be at your Walmart, but if they are and you are dairy-free and gluten-free, I recommend these. They're very good, especially for being dairy-free. Gluten-free pretzels, some brands like Snyder's gluten-free pretzels are delicious. But finding dairy-free cheese that that actually taste really good is kind of difficult, but these are really good. So I'm gonna have these as well on my little snack plate. And so I'm just gonna lower you and we are going to, again, right now, honestly, I'm just being honest, I feel a little stressed right now. And so as much as I talk about this, like God is helping me 
chicken nuggets are done. But as much as I talk about how God is calming my heart, he is, he is for sure. But it still is a struggle of mine. It's something that I've struggled with for really most of my life is all that chaos inside and outside. So I still know that even though he is calming my heart and I do feel it and I do feel that difference, I still know that it's still gonna go up and down and it is even gonna take time for me to have more consistency and stuff with it. So honestly, right now, I don't really want to have a calm dinner. I honestly don't. I'm just being really honest. I don't even want to. I wanna like rush through dinner because I wanna work more, honestly. But I need to remind myself certain things like, Katie, you don't need to work anymore tonight. I do have one video to record after this, but that's okay. Like I can do this and I'm allowed to sit and eat for 20 minutes and then go do my other video and then I have some errands to run later, but I'm not rushed. I have the time to do all those things, you know? And so that's why I'm saying like, even though sometimes I actually have the time, it's like the internal, like I still feel like I'm rushing and stuff. And right now I do feel that. I do feel like I wanna rush through this so that I can go do my other work so that I can go run errands and then so that I can eventually go watch TV or something later, you know? And that's really something that I'm working on. So I'm just being honest with you that right now, like it's not easy for me. And again, I know that some people might be like, oh, I wish I had 20 minutes to sit down I get that. But for me, sometimes I do have the time, but the mentality is like just messed up really honestly. And it has been for a while. So it's, it's going to take me a while to learn, but I'm practicing. So right now I don't want to sit and relax for 20 minutes. I don't want to, I don't want to, but I know for my health and for what God wants me to be doing and who he wants me to be, this is important. And I believe in doing the hard work when it's important, when it lines up with your morals and your goals. And so honestly, again, I know it might sound silly, but this is hard for me. And so I have to force myself to do it. Anyway, let's see if my chicken nuggets are done. Hold on. They are definitely done. I'm gonna take them out with my fingers. Do I recommend that? No, but I have long nails. <laughs> so I'm just kind of like grabbing them mostly with my nail. Oh, you can't even see what I'm doing. Hold on, let me lower you. Sorry, hold on. How's that? Okay. All right. So. I made seven chicken nuggets. Okay, so now let's open these olives. It's a new jar. I always like pour a little bit of the liquid out. I do the same with pickles, just so that it doesn't like spill when I'm trying to grab them basically. I'm just using my fingers. I'm the only one eating these. So I'm gonna grab a few of these and let's get a pickle. I'm gonna move this. Oh, and I also have a LaCroix. I drink these all the time. Pomplemousse is my favorite. And I also really like the cherry lime. It's really good. But honestly, all the other flavors I've tried, I don't like. Okay, how about two of those? Because they're the little ones. I'm gonna peel and chop up this pear. Even right now, I'm telling myself like, okay, it's okay. Like you don't have to rush through this. A little more like mindfulness, I guess, you know, which honestly, a few years ago, I may have like, kind of laugh a little bit at the idea of mindfulness, except I've always believed in living in the moment. And that's a very similar idea. So I'm not really sure why the idea of mindfulness always seems silly to me, but I do believe in like living in the moment and paying attention and being aware and being present and stuff, you know? So again, just working on it, working on it, working on it, talking to you guys about it. Most of my November videos are going to be about this topic and just kind of showing you some of the changes that I'm making in my day-to-day -day life and also talking about some of the mindset stuff as well. Kind of both, you know, like showing you the actions and the mindset. And while I'm eating, I am gonna to talk to you guys for a few minutes while I'm eating, but then I'm gonna watch Brooklyn Nine-Nine, which is just one of like my favorite shows and I love watching it while I eat. So again, like, I don't know, like with the mindfulness stuff, like it might be good to sometimes practice eating without doing anything else, like in just paying attention to eating. But at least tonight, I'm gonna to eat and watch Brooklyn on it. All right, so when I have it like this, when it gets to like this stage, I just bite off the rest of it. Okay, I'm actually just gonna eat some of these little pieces. So now, oh, I know I had two knives out. This one's serrated. So it would have just been harder to peel the pear with that one. I used that what to open the pickles, I think. Put these away. These are two. I recently bought this little dip bowl from Walmart for like $2 and some change. And I'm going to use that for the grandma sweet chili sauce. I love this. I love this. I usually eat it with French fries and chicken nuggets. So I'm gonna use this as my chicken nugget dipping sauce. I found this at Whole Foods and Sprouts, some stores like that. So I'm 
a little bit of that. Okay, so I'm actually gonna take that little dip bowl, put it in the middle of my plate, and then honestly, things like hummus and chips and stuff, I usually just eat out of the container. I know that might not be proper girl dinner etiquette, but that's what I'm gonna do. So here's my dinner. So let me situate you in the living room and then we will go eat. Hello, is that crooked? Ah, the camera would be a little crooked, hold on. Is that better? Is it any different? I don't know. Hi. Okay. So first of all, thank you guys so much for my food. In Jesus' name, amen. Okay. So I want to try this hummus. I love boar's head hummus and cedar's hummus, but I wanted to try a new one. Looks like this. Okay. It smells... I don't know how to explain it. I guess it kind of smells like hummus, I guess. But like a little lemony. And I know there's lemon in it, but it's just the classic hummus. So it's just like the regular flavor, but I might learn how to make my own hummus. If you've made your own hummus and you like love your hummus, like you've perfected the recipe, let me know in the comments because I recently bought an immersion blender, which I think could make hummus, I think. Anyway, all right, let's try this. All right, cheers. Wait, what? I can't tell if that face is like, I love it or it's weird. I can't tell yet. It's very tangy. I think there's just like more lemon juice than, like I don't even know if the other hummus that I eat even has lemon juice in it, but it's tangy. Hmm. I love tangy, sour, citrus flavors. I can't tell if I love that. I think I might. I don't know, I can't tell. I have to keep eating it. Oh, I want to let you know, this sweatshirt is from Zara in the boys section, like the little boys section. I think I have an extra large, so like the sleeves are a little short, but I'm okay with that because I think it's really cute. And like, I grew up in New York and so I kind of like wearing things that say New York on them. If I can find it, I'll link it below. All right, chicken nuggets in that sweet chili sauce. Cheers. That sauce is so good. Obviously you could put it on a lot of other dishes. I'm sure it's really good with like noodles and vegetables and chicken and whatever, but I really only eaten it with nuggets, which is chicken, but nuggets and French fries. I love it with French fries. Okay, even right now, it's okay to eat slowly. It's okay to feel calm while I'm eating. Just things I gotta remind myself. And then hopefully one day I won't have to keep reminding myself, you know, because it'll be more of a habit. All right, let's see if I like this olive with the little pimento or whatever is inside. Yeah, okay, it's fine. Do you like olives? I feel like that's like a whole thing. Like people either love olives or hate them. Honestly, I don't even know if I love or hate them, but I eat them. Hmm, <laughs> I just saw a lizard run in the backyard. I'm currently living in Florida. So there's all these little lizards like everywhere. I saw one a few weeks ago. I saw a little lizard inside of TJ Maxx. <laughs> like when I was looking at like the women's tank tops, there's a lizard on the floor, like running around. And I tried to like guide it out the door because it was still kind of in the front of the store. <laughs> I tried to like guide it out of the store. I didn't want to touch it or pick it up, but I was trying to like go around it and like, you know, just guide it. It was not listening to me, so I have no clue what happened to that lizard. <laughs> I've never seen a lizard in a TJ Maxx before, but we have some in our backyard. These are really good. I looked on the Walmart website before I bought them. I like to read reviews. And honestly, they only had like a 3.1 out of five stars. I'm like, oh, that's not usually great. But most of at least the recent reviews were, no, they're really good, they're really good. But a couple people were like, oh, it's too expensive for the bag only being half filled. And I'm like, for me, I know that gluten-free, dairy-free food is just gonna be more expensive. So. It didn't really bother me. And they also weren't very expensive for what they are. I don't remember how much they were, maybe $5, which for something like this is pretty typical, you know? But anyway, one of the comments said that they kind of tasted like combos. And I was like, okay, I really want to try them now. Cause a couple of the other comments just said that they were good or good for what they are at least, you know? Yeah, I tried them yesterday and I ate like 10 of them. And like, they do kind of taste like combos. So I would recommend these, if, especially if you're gluten and dairy free. Or even if you're not gluten dairy free, but you just want something that's a little bit healthier than a combo, these are pretty good. 
They also make peanut butter ones, peanut butter pretzels, but I can't eat peanut butter anymore. But they're good. Like, I really like this. Okay, but I'm just gonna go eat this. And again, just have a calm mentality around it. And so I think that's gonna be it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed. And I really hope that you're subscribed. I do some of these kind of food related and cooking videos. And I do some little travel videos and day trips and stuff. And then a lot in November and even moving forward after that, it's just gonna be a lot of like figuring out my life basically, and really reorganizing my brain and my mindset and reorganizing my life and, you know, decluttering and stuff like that. And so I really hope that you're subscribed and I really hope that you enjoyed this video. And yeah, I guess that's going to be it. Thank you so much for watching and I hope that you have a wonderful day. I love you. Jesus loves you. And I'll talk to you later. Bye.